What are the most unreliable car brands that you can buy for 2024? That's what we're going to find out. Welcome to Crop Corner, where we help you, the consumer, master the process of car buying and car ownership. I'm going to share the 10 least reliable car brands that you can buy for 2024, according to the latest data from the new Consumer Reports Reliability Study. We'll see how accurate these choices really are, but before getting into it, remember if you enjoy and get value out of this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. So let's start off with the first car brand that came in the number 10 spot, and that one is Dodge. I'm not too surprised to see Dodge make this list. As part of the Stellantis group, which includes several other brands, Dodge has often had a spotty track record when it comes to reliability. Admittedly, the results are a little bit misleading because Consumer Reports only had enough data to report on one model, the Dodge Durango, giving Dodge a score of 42 out of 100. Even so, even if Consumer Reports was able to include the one other model that Dodge sells for 2024, the Dodge Hornet, I seriously doubt that the ranking would have really changed all that much. In any case, let's move on to the next car brand that did even worse in the number 9 spot, and that one is Ford. Ford is another brand which is a bit of a mixed bag when it comes to its build quality. While a couple of their models, the Maverick and the Edge, did surprisingly well ranking above average, many of the other models ranked below average in reliability, including the Escape, the Explorer, the Bronco, and the Bronco Sport the F-150 Lightning, and coming at the very bottom being the least reliable was the F-150 Hybrid. Given how many safety recalls and quality issues that Ford has suffered the past few years, it's really no surprise to see that Ford only got a score of 40 out of 100. And it's a similar story with Ford's sister brand which came in the number 8 spot, and that is Lincoln. Lincoln, of course, is the luxury arm of Ford, so it's really no surprise to see that they suffer from very similar quality issues. Lincoln's most unreliable model is the Aviator mid-sized SUV, a model that I have long criticized and warned against buying in many of my other videos. The brand as a whole only got a score of 38 out of 100 for reliability, so really not so great. And next, in the number 7 spot, we have GMC. GMC was ranked as the least reliable brand from General Motors, which makes sense given how many quality issues that they have suffered from for quite some time now. Their SUVs and trucks have been reporting serious transmission and engine issues, especially the models with the Ecotec V8 engines, which GM dealers have been replacing left and right. Their least reliable models are the Sierra 1500 and the Yukon, but the brand as a whole only got a reliability rating of 36 out of 100. And next up, moving to the car brand in the number 6 spot, we have Volvo. It seems that ever since Volvo fell under the ownership of the Chinese automaker Geely, their build quality has unfortunately been on a steady decline. Aside from the XC40, which ranked average, all the other Volvo SUVs rank below average in reliability, with the worst one being the XC60. The brand as a whole got a reliability score of only 28 out of 100. With the brand reinventing itself into an all-electric car lineup, hopefully the quality will eventually improve with time. But sadly, I wouldn't have any hope for the next car brand improving in quality. The one that we have in the number 5 spot is Jeep. Jeep is another Stellantis brand and a regular on the list of unreliable cars. They just can't seem to get their quality under control with frequent quality issues and safety recalls on a regular basis. Their least reliable models are the Renegade, the Wrangler, and the Grand Cherokee, all of which rank below average in reliability. And as a whole, the Jeep brand only got a reliability score of 26 out of 100, which is pretty disappointing. Jeep is a car brand which I have long criticized in many of my videos when it comes to their quality, just as I've done with the next car brand that came in the number 4 spot, and that is Volkswagen. I've said it in my videos many times before, Volkswagen has a serious reliability problem. They are often so complicated and so expensive to repair at a warranty that it really makes you wonder whether you bought a luxury vehicle. Every single model they make rank below average in reliability, and the worst one of all, which I have criticized a few times before, is the Volkswagen Taos, which ranked well below average. Volkswagen tied Jeep with a score of only 26 out of 100 for reliability, which is pretty dismal. 
And the next car brand that we have in the number three spot was a bit of a surprise. And that one is Rivian. Consumer Reports gave Rivian a reliability score of only 24 out of 100. Now Rivian is a brand new and relatively small automaker that only sells a handful of electric vehicles every single year. So it seems a little bit premature for Consumer Reports to include them in the survey. But I was really not surprised to see the next automaker come in the number two spot and that is Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes was the worst performing luxury brand of the entire survey with a dismal score of only 23 out of 100. Every single one of their models ranked below average in reliability, with the worst ones ranking well below average being the C-Class and the EQS. Mercedes does make some really nice cars, but when it comes to their reliability, they are pretty much rock bottom. And finally, that brings us to the last car brand that came in the number one spot, being the most unreliable brand for 2024, and that one is Chrysler. No surprise, we have another Stellantis brand on the list taking the top spot. Like Dodge, this one is a little bit misleading because Chrysler only makes one model now, which is the Pacifica minivan. And since it was rated poorly for reliability, that means the whole Chrysler brand rated poorly as well, with a horrendous score of only 18 points out of 100. According to Consumer Reports, the least reliable vehicle types are electric vehicles, plug-in hybrid vehicles, and trucks, which makes sense considering that these types of vehicles tend to be made by some of the least reliable brands. For example, the most popular plug-in hybrids that are sold in North America are the Jeep Wrangler 4xe and the Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid, so it's no surprise that plug-in hybrids rank poorly in the Consumer Report survey. On the other hand though, the most reliable vehicle type of the entire survey was hybrids, which again makes perfect sense, given that most hybrids on the road are made by Toyota, Lexus, and Honda, all of which are really reliable brands. Now at this point, you might be wondering where exactly are the other car brands that you might have expected to see? Where are Jaguar, Land Rover, Fiat, Alfa Romeo, and Maserati? Well, apparently, Consumer Reports didn't have enough data in their survey sample to include these brands on the list which is a shame because if they had, I am pretty confident that these brands would have replaced a few of the others on this list at the very rock bottom. And this kind of highlights the limitations of Consumer Reports methodology because they rely on their members with a sample size of roughly 330,000. The data is not as detailed as it could be. Other sources such as IC Cars on the other hand use a random sample with a data set in the millions, which is why I often reference them and like to refer to a few different sources. One thing's for sure though, Consumer Reports is a lot better than JD Power, a source that I almost never refer to. JD Power has by far the smallest sample size, and they only look at vehicles for the first 90 days for their initial quality study, and only the first three years for their dependability study, and I'm sorry, but 90 days or even three years is just not enough time to say if a vehicle is going to be reliable or not. Unlike JD Power, Car Edge, IC Cars, and Consumer Reports have much larger sample sizes, and they also look at vehicles that are much older, 10 years old, even sometimes 20 years old, so their reliability data is a lot more accurate. In a future video, we'll go through the data of vehicles individually and see how well they ranked in reliability. In the meantime, let me know what you thought of this video. Just leave a comment below. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also check out my other videos by clicking these links over here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. And if you need additional car buying advice, recommendations, or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase, make sure to visit carhelpcan.com. Thanks for what you're watching and see you next time.